know what time it is. It's off the hook coming at you live from Megopolis Square. Yo, Marina, tell the people the good news before we introduce the stages. Huh? Like, right now? Um, what was the good news again? You know, the single most important celebration of our culture. The... Oh, the Splatfest! Ding, ding, ding! We've got a Splatfest coming up quick! Splatfests always get my ink pumping. I've gotta get my gear ready. Yo, Marina, what's the Splatfest theme this time? Uh, I'm too nervous to look. You do it. Fine. The Splat Thieves theme is... What? What is it, Pearly? What's the theme? Tell me! Okay, here it comes. Um, the Splatfest theme is... Which genre do you prefer? Science fiction or fantasy? Are we talking movies? Movies, books, games, breakfast cereals, you name it. Mmm, I gotta go with fan... Wait, did you just see breakfast cereals? You know I'm all about those Coco Cyberg flakes. Seriously, Pearl? Everyone knows Frost's wyvern puffs are the best. Sci-fi is boring. I'd rather imagine worlds for a magic and mystical beasts. I mean, who wouldn't want to hang out with a dragon? There are dragons in sci-fi too, you know. Space dragons. Fantasy is for babies. It's just a bunch of make-believe fairy tales. Sci-fi, on the other hand, is a thinking squids genre. It's about exploring the potential of our universe, based on actual science. Uh, space dragons are actual science? Uh, looks like we're out of time. Go pick a site in the square. Hello, lovely people of the world. I'm going to you, and welcome to Splatoon 2 Splatfest. Today I'm joined by... Hi, it's Pi. Hello, we have a special guest. Wee! <laughs> so, why don't you give, take a moment to explain to the good people at home what you do on your own channel? Uh, I do some art stuff as well as gaming playthroughs and Twitch highlights. Wee! <laughs> yeah, so, those of you who haven't been watching the channel lately, we did, recently did a Splatoon stream, so we figured, why not do some Splatfest videos as well, because we both love Splatoon. Mm-hmm. Splatoon's awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like what, 3,000 hours on your playtime or something like that? Yeah, 3,000. Wee! It's not enough, though. <laughs> well, I'm almost to 1,000 in Animal Crossing, so. <laughs> yeah, we love video games. <laughs> so, I check in the commentary for a moment to explain how the Splatfest worked. This was the Sci Fi vs. Fantasy Splatfest of November 2017. We're currently playing on Capodome right now, which is one of my more personal favorite stages in the game. How do you feel about this one? Um, it's interesting. It's really good for Rainmaker. Yes! One of my favorite memories of the first game was getting a near-perfect victory on Rainmaker on the stage. Nice. I really like this one because uh, it's really intense going on the walkways on the top because uh, there's really nowhere you can refill your ink up here, but you also have an advantage over the people below you. It's so much fun. Yeah, I wish a roller, if you rolled along it, would still put the ink below, mm. but it doesn't. It can kind of work if you press the button and you like flick the roller, but not when you're rolling around. Yeah. Can you throw clamps through the walkway? I don't remember. Or does that just bounce off? No, the they they bounce off of it, I think. Oh, that's rude. <laughs> <laughs> you can throw them over the railing, though. If the inkling can go through the grate, why can't the clamps? They're obviously the same thing. <laughs> They're not ink. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is a really fun Splatfest, although... One thing I want to say is that the next one in particular, I'm really looking forward to that one. <laughs> oh yeah? Yeah, the sweaters versus socks. Uh, I really love the holiday ones in general, and the artwork for that one specifically is like one of my favorites, because <laughs> Pearl looks so mad with the sweater on, and Marina looks adorable with the socks. Yeah, that was some pretty cute artwork. <laughs> that was one of the Splatfests I missed, though. Oh. Yeah. It 
You know, maybe I have rematches so that we can play the ones that we missed the first time. That would be awesome. Hashtag bring back Splatfest. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so normally throughout these uh, videos we play two matches, one uh, with the Splatfest version of a regular stage and one Shifty Station. This time around though, we're going to have an extra one for a, for a Splatfest match, uh, so that we can have uh, some more time to chat with the super awesome Gaming with Pi. <laughs> okay. Yay! Unfortunately, you weren't on this match though, because we kind of didn't, no. <laughs> didn't know each other back then. Yeah, and I don't think I got to play this Splatfest for very long either. I think I only caught like an hour of it. Mm -hmm. uh, I think in the first time we were trying to rec record this, you told the story about the last Splatfest. Uh, do you want to tell that again? Yes, I actually uh, was working all summer last summer, and when the Splatfest was announced was when I was the time to put in the week I wanted vacation hours used. So I used all of my vacation hours to take the, the weekend and days off for Splatoon. <laughs> <laughs> and then I spent the entire time playing the Splatfest. Like, I barely even slept over the weekend. <laughs> and it was totally worth it. It was. <laughs> I even got the shirt from the Nintendo website. <laughs> nice. Do they have these Splatfest tees available? I think I saw that, but I don't remember off the top of my head. Uh, in real life? No, 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 on the, on the game. Or in the game. Yeah, now that the Splatfests are over, you can just get a Splatfest tee. Sweet. I really wish that they let you keep the designs for the regular Splatfest, uh, because it would have been so cool to be able to brag to people saying, Hey, look, this was the Splatfest that I played in, and you didn't. <laughs> Yeah, I, I liked some of the shirt designs because they were so cool, so I wish that, like, after the spot says you got to keep your shirt. Mm-hmm. That yeah. would be so awesome. Maybe with Splatoon 3. Oh. <laughs> so a bit of a fun story. Maybe. <laughs> so a bit of a fun story um, for the people at home. So... This is our second take trying to do this because I'm a big dumb dummy head who didn't have my OBS settings correct. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, on the original recording, like a moment ago, when the Inklings Fred and George appeared on screen, we were talking about how, like, hey, look, it's Harry Potter! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have a terrible memory, so coincidentally, I don't remember <laughs> anything I said <laughs> during that recording. <laughs> I'll be editing my own videos that I recorded the previous night and then laughing at my jokes because I completely forgot to send them. <laughs> All right. um, I try to edit videos like a week or two away from when I originally record them um, because I don't like it when I edit them immediately afterwards because it's all like, I literally just said this joke. It's not that funny. Am I going to get this in the video? <laughs> <laughs> You don't know, see, my memory's just so terrible that i completely for forgotten. And also, because it's terrible, if I put it off, then I'll never get around to doing it. <laughs> so, um, going back to some more information about this Splatfest. So, something interesting about this one was that uh, in North America, this one was sci-fi versus fantasy, as you can see in the video title. But in Japan, this was lemon versus no lemon. And in Europe, it was warm breakfast versus cold breakfast. Mmm, breakfast. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Does pizza count as a warm breakfast? Yeah. Sweet. Warm breakfast for me, then. I guess I had a cold breakfast today, because all I had was a can of Mountain Dew. <laughs> <laughs> it's the most nutritious breakfast ever. Well, of course. I just remember, there's a Mountain Dew in my fridge that I've had in for like a day and I really want to drink it, but it's also been in there for a day, so I don't know if I want it. Ooh, it's probably flat. But I kind of like flat sodas. Oof. <laughs> I'm, I'm weird. <laughs> <laughs> 
So, moving on to the shifty station for this Splatfest, this is a Goose Sponge, which is a reference to the book series uh, Goosebumps. And, fun fact, this stage was actually changed when it returned for May 2018. I don't remember which Splatfest this returned for, though. I think it was an international one. But, the interesting thing is, unlike the other Splatfest uh, stages that did get changed, this one never saw any kind of return at all. So, even during Splatfest Private Battles, you will never be able to see the layout that we're playing on this video. So, yay! This is the top secret stage. <laughs> it's always sad when they change stage. Yeah. Like how they changed Urchin Underpass in the first game, or uh, Starfish Main Stage in this one. Mm-hmm. I mean, personally, I would hope that they would change Port Mackerel so that it doesn't exist anymore, but I'm sure that... <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people will disagree with me on that. <laughs> Port Mackerel's fun! <laughs> we have very different, very different definitions of fun. <laughs> so, Port Mackerel itself, it's not a bad stage, it's just that it's so nerve-wracking because you never know if somebody's around the corner. Yeah, that's true. But it's really fun, <laughs> for that same reason, because <laughs> I can hide behind the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, so you're one of those kind of Splat Splatoon players. Yes. <laughs> that person's name made me laugh. Their name was Quibbles. <laughs> <laughs> That's silly. One thing that kind of bums me out is that because this wasn't an international Splatfest, there's no Japanese names here, and you speak Japanese, so it would be nice to actually... <laughs> know what these names were for once? Sometimes I can't... I, I, I'm, I'm really bad at reading Japanese. It mm -hmm. takes me a while to figure out what it says. So a lot of the time I can't translate them during a battle. <laughs> the only one Although you can... Go ahead. No, you go first. Oh, you can run into people with Japanese names in non-international Splatfest, and I know this for a fact because for the longest time I had a Japanese name in the game. <laughs> <laughs> you just change your keyboard to Japanese. That's a very good point. I wonder what Lady Gerdy you would look like in Japanese. Well, I don't know. The only Japanese um, alphabet thing I know off the top of my head is that one that kind of looks like a smiley face. Uh, yeah. I can't remember what that one is, but I know what you're talking about. <laughs> um, it's something. It, it's something, Japanese. <laughs> yeah, it's something. <laughs> the only one I can always remember is Ah and No <laughs> and Sue. The smiley face one, I believe, is Kana, though, not Hiragana. And this day just come to an end, which means this Splatfest is now over. How sad. RIP. <laughs> Good, so we barely won that one. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't look at these results so when I edit these videos, so it's always nice to see um, how close it was. <laughs> oh. <laughs> know what time it is! It's off the hook! Coming at you live from Megopolis Square! Marina, before we announce the stages, why don't you share the breaking news? Breaking news? What did you break this time? I didn't break anything! I was talking about the Splatfest oh, the results! the Splatfest results are in! Right. First, let's see which team was the most popular. Uh, let's find out. Bada bada bada? Bada bada bada? But blam! Oh man! Yes! All right, all right, all right. Now for the part that matters. Yeah, popularity is everything. Time to see which team won the most battles. Please, please, please. Bada bada bada. Bada bada bada. But blam! Blam! Are you kidding me? Wow! Okay, y'all, it's time. The final results. The winner of this Splatfest is... Blam! Blam! 
them! One team to rule them all! Ugh. All the sci-fi in the world can't team a dragon, Pearly! Way to go, Team Fantasy! Well, why do you even like fantasy? I thought you were all about tech and machinery! I prefer science fact to science fiction. Whatever. If you participate in the Splatfest, your prizes are waiting in the square. And that's all the time we've got. Until next time, don't, don't get, get cooked, cooked, stay, stay off, off the hook. hook. Y'all know what time it is. Oh, wait. <laughs> I did pearls again. Sorry. Okay, actually, Marina, this time. I made the same mistake last time, too. So, thank you all so much for watching this episode of Splatoon 2 Splatfest. I've been Lady Gary to you, and he is. Was... Hi. So, go over to check out his channel if you'd like to see some more awesome stuff. And maybe we'll invite you back in for another Splatfest if you feel like breaking into the channel again. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Thank you for coming. Bye.